If you can't tell behind me, we're in a very well lit shop here. Now we're here at KMG Detailing. We're good friends with Kevin, the owner, and it is a local company to us right here in Lebanon. And we're actually gonna be getting both of our Jeeps ceramic coated and fully paint corrected. But we've got my Jeep in here first. Kevin's already started to kind of pull some things apart and get it cleaned up. But we're gonna be completely protecting the exterior of these vehicles. I think we're most excited just to protect the paint because yours already got some trail damage the first time out and we're driving all over the place. So we wanna get these things completely protected, dialed in before summer but let's get started with this video. One of the things we were just talking about with Kevin off camera is that the ceramic coating layer is basically a sacrificial layer. And what that means is that it's gonna go over top of your clear coat and kind of be sacrificial when it comes to environmental damages, when it comes to some very, very light scratches. And then also it's gonna be hydrophobic and help protect the paint and the clear coat on the vehicle. That's very important for us because it gives you very much ease of maintenance with these vehicles, meaning the hydrophobic part, water's gonna beat off and you can easily clean it up when you're out in a full day of wheeling, get mud, get coal dust, get everything all over it, and just simply pressure wash it and it'll be able to clean off. Another thing that it's gonna do is just make the paint pop a little bit more and give it protection. In a brand new vehicle like this, it's a lot easier to do it now than to wait till it gets all scratched and beat up to protect it. But the first steps is we're obviously debadging this, so we're gonna kinda integrate that a little bit. We'll talk about it during the middle of this video. But Kevin already took this thing out, did a iron neutralizer to basically get any of the iron or sediment out of the paint. Now what happens is just from daily driving or also having a Jeep shipped in from a rail yard going by train, that iron comes up from the dust, lays on the paint, and you can get little dots all over and kind of see that and it damages into the clear coat pretty badly. A nice thing with us is we get all of ours from Dan Cummins and they're that close to Toledo, they never have to see a train. He also gave it a very thorough concentrated wash to basically neutralize the entire vehicle, get on any of the bug dust off, any of the, all the rest of the travel kind of nonsense we get onto this Jeep. And then the last step is to go through with either a clay bar or a clay composite to really get anything else off of it before the coating is begun. And then even before that, we got another step of polishing the thing, right, too? We gotta polish it up a little bit. And even though it's a new vehicle, there's still some damage, just like Ryan's. We got some damage on this vehicle, so we wanna get it cleaned up and then start the ceramic coating. So one thing we're gonna incorporate into this video as well, we figured it was a perfect time on both Ryan and my Jeeps. We're gonna actually debadge them. So Kevin's heating up the Jeep logo, the trail rated badge, and then on mine, I've got the 392 badges on the hood. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna take these off, that way we can get a good polish and install our brand new badges on the vehicle. So it's actually good we're removing the trail rated badge because Kevin noticed this as well. Ours is crooked. <laughs> so it's actually kind of looks like it's cocked towards like the one o'clock position on a clock, but we're gonna, yeah, it's just a little bit off. So we're gonna pull that one off. A fun fact, Ryan, follow me real quick. I wanna show you something over here. So you guys know how the antenna is built into the windshield. So there is still the antenna mast bolts right here on the passenger side. So that's kind of neat, a little pit tidbit. I guess if you wanted to take off your trail rate badge and maybe put like a ham radio antenna or something there, you still do have the base underneath here. So that's pretty cool. So Kevin's actually what he calls is a magic eraser. And I think that's the name of it too, right, Kevin? That's what they're called, like a 3M, 3M, rubber, eraser. 3M rubber eraser to kind of get that off of there. Now he said also the same thing. You gotta be careful when you're doing this because you can still damage the paint underneath. That's probably what I would have done at home. So we figured while we're here, may as well get that done, get it kind of all stripped away and get ready for our fresh badges, which let's pop over here and I'll show you those. So we've got a few of them laying here that's going on to my Jeep, but huge props to Distinction Applied. You guys know we work with them all the time. We got a set of the Jeep letters, the trail rated badges, as well as the 392 hood logo. Honestly, I'm still bewildered on how they do this, Ryan, how they get it two-tone like that. Like, I know Brian told me a little bit of secrets off camera, but how do you get that much detail with the bronze and the bikini? That looks absolutely incredible. Same thing here, we actually went with the bikini on the inside. So you can see the bikinis on the inside of the badge and then the 392 bronze on the exterior. And then we did the same with the 392 logo. I think it's gonna be a big difference here just to kind of see it. Let me grab the trail rate badge and I'll show you guys. Check this difference out here. I think that'll look pretty neat. What do you think, Ry? Really, I like how the gold kind of switched. It's switched, yeah, it right? Yeah, it kind of flops. So we have like, we got now the blue in the mountains, the bikini versus this, which has the granite. And not much of this Jeep has the granite anymore in it. Like, it's not really all over the place like it used to be. The Extreme Recon used to have this granite in the wheels, but my Jeep never had it. So I figured the bikini would be a good kind of swap out for it. So we'll pull Ryan's out and kind of check those out as well. So check this out. Ryan, you went with Kind of the similar setup, yeah. right? Yeah, I wanted to do bronze, because I think the bronze accent will look really good with Anvil, but I like how he 
that still looks pretty good with the, the anvil inside, inside there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that looks really cool. I think we're doing a lot of the 392 bronze on yours too. We just got some accent pieces. And then we've also got this one, which Ryan shows a little bit of a brighter thing because you know, Ryan's just like kind of a spunky guy, you know? It's all bronze. Oh yeah. So Ryan got all bronze on this, the border or the 392 gold on here. I think that's gonna look pretty mm -hmm. neat too. That'll tie in, uh, give it a little bit of pop on yeah. the side, right? Your Jeep is very, like, it's all flat colors, right? So I think this will give it a little bit of pop. And I'm excited to see what these look like. The decision has been made. Take a take a peek over there. No more, no more weird black Wrangler logo sticker that didn't match anything else on the Jeep. Plus we're going, like Kevin just said, we're going with Stinction Applied, like custom painted badges. And we have this, like that didn't even, it wasn't even cut out around the letters. It was like a clear with black cheap sticker. So now it's kind of step number two is the taping off process. So as we're polishing and kind of cleaning up the paint, you don't want, as Kevin said, to any have any of the residue get off onto the plastic pieces as well as probably have any of the polisher touch that because that could probably damage that black, huh, Kevin? Sometimes don't. you can get it off, sometimes you can't. Like Kevin was just saying, the Broncos, that's a little bit easier. The fenders just pop off with this one. You've kind of got to tape it all off too in between. And we have color match flares, meaning that these can get coated too. So luckily, Ryan, we're not even going to do your flares at all. We're not even gonna yeah, touch those. Yeah, we might have those. surprise later for her. Yeah, because we're gonna just rip them off. So Kevin got it pretty well taped off, still kind of working through. We got the taillights taped off, the, the kind of in between the fender flares here where it goes from plastic to the paint surface, the window seals too. So part of those were taped off, kind of working our way around here, the front fenders. And now we're getting to the spot where you're gonna start polishing, which is what I'm really nervous I would never be able to do. But Kevin, I trust you to polish this. I think he has enough experience to get it done. Okay, so it is the end of day one for us. Kevin's gonna work on some stuff off camera. It's a lot of compounding right now, so he's gonna be going around the entire vehicle. We said it's probably a good eight to 10 hours to get it compounded and then polish it. So kind of, we can only show so much of that. You know, it's pretty much the same process, just very tedious. He said he just throws his headphones in and listens to some Rogan podcast and just goes to town. It's pretty cool to see this done on any vehicle. So without further ado, that's the end of day one. Let's get ready for tomorrow. And just like that, it is day two here. Now I snapped my finger, but Kevin's been working on this thing late afternoon yesterday and already started in the morning, finishing out all the compounding process. So now that all that is kind of wrapped up on the compounding, it's soon time to polish the Jeep. And that's going across the entire vehicle and really polishing the finish to make it shine and give it kind of that final coat before it gets the ceramic coating. So the compounding was to get all the imperfections. It still leaves like a little bit of a hazy surface, but then when you polish it, it gets all of that off of there. So we got Ryan's Jeep pulled in here too. Kind of just wanted to show where he's got those markings. So you can see it all along the hood here underneath all the rest of the mud that Ryan's got, but it literally just runs all the way up through here. There's some light scratches and then it goes up all the way to the top here. You can really see it too, Ryan. You must hit a branch when we were out the first time and probably just didn't notice it because you were trying to drive, shoot, film spot, all that stuff mixed into one. But yeah, it's just running up along here. And Kevin, you think you can fix this, right? Cool, so that's, I mean, that's probably one of the biggest benefits too. So before this gets coated and everything, all that'll get fixed up and then protected on top of it. Because to be honest with you, you do buy a brand new Jeep. You wanna, it's pride of ownership. You wanna keep it looking good too. So here's kind of the Jeep letters in gold. I wanted to pull them off and Ryan actually wanted to take a look at what it would look like instead. For me, this is giving like the YJ kind of vibe. YJ CJ7, we just looked at a CJ7, a Golden Eagle. And if you guys remember with some of the trim packages, they actually had these stamped out when they, the bodies, the tubs were actually stamped and they had all gold like this. So that looks really, really cool. I think Ryan, you're gonna also have to ditch that Wrangler sticker just because it's not gonna match with really anything. But I think this mixed with the Trail Rata badge is gonna be a really nice accent on the side of here. Not be too much, but just give it a little bit of gold. All right, so Kevin made kind of a template up here to put the Jeep lettering on. Um, we actually looked at Ryan's Jeep and they were in uneven spaces too. So they were off, actually a little bit off. So this will probably be a little bit better to actually do it this way. Yeah, you always gotta do a little bit extra when you're putting this stuff on and kind of want it to line up in the right spot. But we didn't, We took the Wrangler Unlimited decal off. That was a kind of a template, but it, uh, it was pulled off here. So we gotta design where we wanna put the Jeep lettering back up at. So basically with coating the wheels and tires, it's easier to pull them off. You can clean the faces and the barrels of the wheels, prep them for coating. So it's a more thorough cleaning process. And then with the plastic wheel liners, you can put coating on there also for easy cleaning of mud um, or any other dirt and debris. What do you think about those 40s? Pretty big, right? <laughs> 
a little beefy pulling those on and off. Yeah. Takes a couple of people. Jeep is up on all fours. We got all the wheels and tires off. That's kind of the next step is we're gonna get those cleaned up. Kevin's gonna kind of ceramic coat all five of the wheels and tires there. Not the tires, but the wheels. So we'll get those all cleaned up and put back on the vehicle. But the polish is done on the Jeep. I would say it's completely done. The last step after this is to give it a good wipe down with there's a kind of, it removes all the chemicals, right, Kevin? Yeah, it removes the, the polishing oils and leaves it with a nice clean surface for that ceramic coat to go onto it. So now it's kind of one of the parts of the coating process. Kevin's actually gonna use, it's kind of a small airbrush tool to actually airbrush apply the ceramic coating on the front of the wheels. And he kind of said off camera too, it's a little bit easier to do that in some of the tighter areas just because you don't want to get in there with a rag or the applicator. So I've never seen that before. That's actually pretty neat to be able to apply it with that and get the coating on here. But this is going to be very similar to what's on the Jeep. And it's just going to do the entire wheel here. So kind of excited to see how that process goes. So just got the wheels and tires back on. As you can see, Kevin also on the inside ceramic coated all the frame, all the suspension underneath there too. Used the spray. Look at how nice that frame looks. My frame was already getting chalky after like two months. And honestly, this looks so much better. Plus it's gonna protect it too. He did the shocks, the coil springs, all the sway bar end links. You start getting salt, road debris, grime, mud, coal dust, anything else on there, it's gonna stick and really corrode it and turn it into some things that we don't want it to. But he also did the inside of the wheel wells too, so that'll be easier just to spray off. Got the Falcon shocks coated, our Clayton Springs, and then of course the wheels, these are being completely sprayed and cleaned up. Those look fantastic too. This Jeep is really gonna turn out to be not a show car, but just about it, a mall crawler. All right guys, so we're kind of switching over to a little bit of iPhone footage. Ryan had to step out, he was not feeling too well, so Matt turned into a cameraman and started filming here. But so the rest of the process here, we got Ryan's Jeep completely polished. First he had to compound it down, get all those scratches out. It was kind of funny because he said the scratches were all the way down the side and then even like on the door in the back corner. So I, Brian must hit something when we were wheeling that first trip um, and didn't really notice it because it was on the passenger side. I was trying to film, Ryan was wheeling his Jeep that was a month old. So I think that's where it came from. But after he got that all compounded out, we started polishing it. And man, I gotta tell you, that anvil color just really came to life. I was super impressed at how almost like a mirror finish he could get out of that. And even though it was a brand new Jeep, he said a lot of other companies wouldn't compound it. They wouldn't take all the time to compound it down, but he thinks it's worth it. And obviously I can tell you the final results were. Now, while we had it kind of pulled apart, we did take the spare tire off. We took the windows out and then also we debadged it too. So we took all the black badging off and added on some brand new distinction applied both Jeep letters and the trail rated badge. The Jeep letters were done in full gold. So those are the full 392 gold. And then the trail rated badges are in the gold and the anvil inserts. I gotta tell you, Distinction Applied knocks it out of the park with these and honestly, we're impressed. And I think the gold looks really good with this Jeep. So it's pretty impressive to see how it all looks. We got a couple other final touches and then we're really gonna tie in all the gold on this vehicle. But either way, yeah, we got them completely sanded down, uh, compounded, polished, ready to go. And then the ceramic coating started. So the ceramic coating went on everything on mine. So he did both of them too. So he did Ryan's first and he used a different level of the Car Pro ceramic coat. That's all he uses in there. And I think he used the C quartz, which actually he even told me they have like ground up like diamond dust in it. Like it's a pretty impressive stuff. And as he was applying it, it's kind of neat that all that prep work just goes to applying a couple little drops on there, wipe it, put a couple more drops, wipe it. And then what he's doing is letting it kind of flash. So there's actually a shot that I got where you can see it almost looks like rainbow streaks. You're letting the ceramic coat flash and then you wipe the excess off. And what it leaves you is that coating on there that gives you that really deep gloss, the shine on there, everything that you want out of your paint. And honestly, we are doing this little description here a day or so afterwards. It rained the other day and you could watch the water beat off of everything. I even sprayed the suspension down with the hose and it's like it was just allergic to the water. It's hydrophobic. So really, really nice. So when he did mine, he actually did two layers. So he did the C quartz and then he did a D quartz as well. So two of their products on there, give it a base coat and then a final coat. What's neat about that is that he also did the windows and all the plastics of both of our vehicles to really, really coat it. The entire Jeep is protected outside and honestly we just did the armor light flooring inside so we've really got these jeeps dialed in to go out there and have some fun now a lot of you guys 
might comment some weird things down below. And uh, I gotta be honest with you, if you're if you're gonna comment some things that are like, why would you do this, it's a Jeep, you know, who cares, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, I don't really wanna read it. This was done because Ryan and I do care about our vehicles and we like to keep them for a decent amount of time. So we wanted them to look their best, we wanted them to be easy to wash, and then also, we just like to take care of our Jeeps, so why, why not do that? You know, so we got him completely dialed in and a huge shout out to Kevin. I can't say enough thanks. He really hooked us up and we actually got to spend a week with him filming. So it was a really cool time there. And honestly, I hope you guys enjoy the final product. On today's viewer rig the video, we're checking out Six Speeds JT and this thing is massive. It's a beautiful Gladiator here with it looks like a set of 43s on 20s, full one ton axle swaps, fully done crossover, probably two and a half or even three ton steering, a moto built frame chop bumper, worn winch, chopped fender flares, and this thing looks like it, it pretty much take on whatever you throw at it. It is definitely a big Jeep just like mine. This one's probably a little bit bigger too. And honestly, I love to see a cool Gladiator like this. Honestly, Ryan, I think you and I need to do one of these. This is a beautiful looking Jeep, and he's a great channel here on Instagram. So if you guys wanna follow him, a, con a ton of cool content coming up. And this one is actually on a nice set of Kings. I'm not sure what size lift, but we could probably look a little bit into it. Beautiful looking Gladiator. We love to see Gladiators here on the channel as well. If you guys want to have a chance at your rig being featured be sure to hit us up through instagram or send us an email first things first i want to touch on ryan's jeep a little bit the biggest thing that both of us noticed when we were looking at his jeep just how clean that paint looks now i don't think ryan's jeep honestly no no offense ryan i don't think it's ever looked that clean not even delivered from the factory this thing is literally glowing he got everything all the imperfections out of the paint because they were pretty bad on both sides he got all that out compounded polished did the wheels did the tires did the frame the suspension and even threw on some new badging for us. So look at how good this Jeep looks behind us. Ryan got a ton of shots. I think the only thing we need to do is rip off those fender flares because it's the only little bit of black left on there. But when we get our new ones, he said he'll polish those then for us too and throw them on. But either way, this Jeep just looks impressive now. The reflection, everything that's coming off of it and how protected it is, we're just happy to have both of them looking like this. The gold badging on Ryan's Jeep is absolutely a perfect touch. It reminds me of the old school Rio Grande YJs where they actually had the Jeep badging down below in the gold so he had the gold badging the tan interiors all that stuff it's a nice little subtle touch and it'll work well with what we have coming in the future on to my jeep you guys might not have noticed because it's kind of a subtle touch we got the whole thing ceramic coated wheels suspension everything but then we also swapped out my jeep lettering badge my trail rated badge and the 392 on the hood it looks kind of smooth going along the side now i did bikini inset of the jeep letter and then bronze on the outside so you just kind of see the bikini pop and a little bit of bronze same with the hood decal and then on the trail rated badge we incorporated a little bit of bikini on there i'm very very thrilled with how it looks and i wasn't the biggest fan you guys remember my first video i didn't like the color matched hard top but now that's all ceramic coated so it definitely shines a little bit more and with the 40s it just looks a lot better i think than with the stock jeep the stock jeep kind of looked like a g-wagon and i really just wasn't feeling it we travel a lot with these vehicles i mean just in six days, we'll be driving a thousand miles each way down to Daytona. These Jeeps see a lot of road wear and tear. They do see off road wear and tear too. So I don't want to hear about that in the comments either. And honestly, with the way our frames are, I think it'll be able to just rinse off. And how good will that look to be able to keep your Jeep clean, not wear out your bushings, your seals, all your rubber. I mean, why would you not want to protect your investment? This is just a great protection of the investment. If you're interested in doing this either on your Jeep or say your wife, or you have a daily driver that you're looking to protect, he does Camaros, exotics, all sorts of stuff please give him a shout out he's local and we love to support local businesses kmg detailing tell him the dirt road cred sent you huge thanks though these jeeps look incredible and we cannot wait to take them to show season if you guys see us at a show do not be afraid to come up and give us a high five or do something i mean we're like regular guys i know ryan can't talk right now because i'm like 40 feet away from him but just come up to us we'll have some uh some little events going on down at Jeep Beach. Um, we'll actually be giving away some concert tickets too. So they have some big names for country singers there. We'll be doing that. And we got a ton of other cool stuff going on. So we'll be down there for the entire week and we can't wait to see you guys down there. Either way though, my name's Matt. That's Ryan way back there behind the camera. And we, we want, want you, you to get out there and earn yours. Perfect, Ryan. All right, we'll see you on the next one.